Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Knows. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today's topic is Xenobiotics. This is just an overview. If you want video on any topic, please comment below. The word Xenobiotics originated from Greek word Xenos, which means foreigner, bios means life and ticks is suffix here. So the compound which are not naturally present or produced in organism but still exist in their body is called xenobiotics. Most of these chemicals that gain access to the body via diet, air, drinking water, drug administration and lifestyle choices. When any substance present in much higher concentration than usual, it is also considered as xenobiotics. In environment, these compounds enters via hospital waste, private septic fields, wastewater treatment plants, agricultural land due to use of pesticides, industrial discharge and exhaust gases from vehicles etc. What are these xenobiotics compounds? So basically these are man-made compounds like drugs such as antibiotics, pesticides like DDD, industrial product like formalin, plastic like PVC which is polyvinyl chloride, heavy metals like arsenic, cosmetics such as moisturizer, food additives like sodium nitride. Natural compounds can also be used xenobiotics. Let's see an example how xenobiotics enters in the body. First, industrial waste discharge into lakes, rivers, ponds or farms. From there, these chemicals reach to plants grown nearby farms and fields. Plants store these harmful chemicals. When human beings and animals consume these crops or plants, these chemicals reach into their body. Furthermore, direct consumption of Water from these contaminated sites also the reason of xenobiotics in living beings. Body try to detoxify these harmful chemicals and the process takes place in the liver. Liver enzymes or hepatic enzymes oxidize, reduce or hydrolyze these chemical compounds and expose their polar groups. These polar groups conjugate with sulfate, acetate or glutathione present in the liver and finally uh, they take exit from the body via bile, sweat or urine. For example, benzene oxidation form phenol, then phenol reacts with sulfate present in the liver and form phenol sulfate which excrete via urine, bile or sweat. Though complete removal of all xenobiotics from body is not possible. Some xenobiotics such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are highly toxic, persist for long time in the environment and degrade in limited amount. Microbes which survive in harsh environment have a potential to degrade such toxic and harmful compounds. Microorganisms have such genes and enzymes which catabolize xenobiotics. They utilize xenobiotic contaminants as a carbon or nitrogen sources to sustain their growth and metabolic activities. Degradation of xenobiotic compounds by microbes is considered to be the most effective and beneficial approach. Microbes which are involved in xenobiotics degradation are alkali genes, cellulose microbiome, microbacterium, micrococcus, methanospirillum aromonas, sphingobium, flavobacterium, rhodococcus, aspergillus, penicillium, trichoderma, streptomyces, rhodotorula, candida and oreobacidium are some of the species.